Challenge number three, let's stay prepared to stay safe. So I'm going to start out with clothing. First for my feet, I have my wicking layer, which is my sock liners, which I will be putting on. Uh, then I have my hiking socks right here. I have some hiking socks I'm going to put on. And I'm going to put the rest in my bag as extras. Next up in terms of clothes, I have the um, some extra clothing, clothing that will keep me warm. So I have a fleece sweatshirt right here. And I have some sweatpants for my lower body. I'm going to put those in the hiking bag. Then next I have my outer layer that will protect me from wind and rain. So I have a rain jacket here. I'm going to fold up and throw in the bag. Put that in there. And lastly, I have some rain pants here that I will throw in. Regarding clothing, I forgot to mention that I will be wearing a shirt and shorts that will act as my uh, wicking layer for my upper and lower body. Let's keep going with the packing. Um, in terms of essentials, I have my two one liter water bottles, essential for hydration, that will go in the outer pockets here. You can see this. I'm gonna put it down and put it in. All right. Next up, I have a headlamp, which will help me if I get lost and it turns into nighttime. I also have some extra batteries. Throw those in the bag. All right, in case I need to start a fire for warmth, I have a lighter that I'm going to put in. Next up, I have bug repellent. Um, I want to use lotion because I don't want to use an aerosol can and damage the environment. Uh, in terms of sun protection, I have my SPF 30 sunscreen right here. I'm going to put that on before I leave, and I will throw it in the bag for now. I have the hat that will also protect me from the sun. I'll wear that to the hiking destination. Um, for navigation, I have my <coughs> compass, which I will put in my front pocket of my bag. And also, my personal first aid kit, which I will put in front because that is essential. Last few things I'll be bringing on my hike. I will be bringing some food for nutrition. You never know when you're going to need to eat something or if someone else needs to eat something. And in case I get lost, I'll have my whistle around my neck as so. Further regarding uh, navigation, I will be using the All Trails app to make sure I know where I am at all times. It'll track my movements. And I will also um, pick up a paper map if they have one at the beginning of the Lime Hollow Trail. Okay, so now that I have all of my essentials in my day pack, I'm going to complete the waterproofing steps. So first I'm going to get all the items on the bottom of the bed. I'm going to squeeze all the air out of it. You can do that right now. Once all the air is out, I'm going to Hold the bag up, hold it tightly. I'm going to spin it around three times. One, two, and three. For easy access, instead of tying a knot. I'm going to put this bag back in my pack. Stuff it all the way down so that I have ample room to close the pack inside the bag and all of my items fit. Going to close that there. Put these together. There we go. Now that I have everything packed, I have my hiking shoes. I'm going to put them on. I'm ready to go over to Lime Hollow. and the environment uh, one thing that i'm doing right now is i'm staying on the path i'm following the trail markers you definitely want to stay on the path so that you always know where you're going there's a less likelihood of you um getting lost if you stay on the trail 
and it also um, helps you to leave no trace in the sense that you won't be damaging any of the surrounding nature that may be a habitat for some wildlife.